Good afternoon and welcome to another episode of Unscripted and Unchained RPG Review. I am DM Bloodworth, and as you can see by the graphics, today I'm going to be doing an, a box opening of Wizard's Quest, which was an Avalon Hill, uh, what they called a bookshelf game, uh, you know, that I, that I used to play as a, you know, as a young teen back in the early 1980s. And to be perfectly honest with you, this game had completely left my memory in, you know, the 35 plus years since I played it. And just recently, I saw mention of this game on uh, on Facebook. And I was like, oh my gosh, I, I, I remember loving this game back in the day. And so I jumped on eBay around Thursday and found a found a, one copy of it. And that was you know, complete and and cheap. Uh, so uh, paid the $22 and was really expecting this to come in next Friday, the 21st. So literally put in the put in the order for the game on Thursday and it has arrived here on Saturday. So just unbelievably fast, um, you know, fast delivery and very quick response of, uh, you know, of the seller. So I'm super happy with the delivery part. Now it came in a it came in a box uh, that kind of threw me off a little bit. So here's the box that it came in, and it's. I mean, it was addressed to me, but this label here kind of threw me off. Where it's talking about you know USDA certified citrus you know, citrus uh, label on it. And I started wondering, you know, what the heck is this? So I, you know, I opened it up and, um, well, this might answer the question that it did come from New York and it's being shipped to New York. So maybe that's why it was so fast. I didn't realize where the seller was, but, uh, but still I was, I was not expecting. So I opened up the box just to see what the heck it was. And Lo and behold, it was Wizard's Quest. So I'm going to continue opening this up here. So um, this is just the the box that it was delivered in, and you could start to see the, you know, the packaging. It's 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 very well packaged. Might actually have to take out my knife here and see. So. Uh, to the individual that sold this to me, uh, thank you very much for the very quick sale and delivery. And we shall see the actual contents of the game in a moment. It is packed very well. So that and my buck knife probably could use a bit of a sharpening. So okay. go so here we have the the box and you can see so this is the it's wizard's quest avalon hill a treasure hunt on the fantastic island of marnon and, and the box feels very sturdy too so you can see it's a uh, we'll take a look so here we have an Yeah, so the box is, is in really, really decent shape. So here are all the uh, all the pieces individually wrapped. There's certainly there's one die in there. Um, I so vaguely remember some of these, uh, you know, some of these counters here. 
Like I remember the wizard. There's the deck of cards that is in here. Some more packaging. So here we have the rules. So the rules for the game. And we have the the board. Now of course we'll check the the lower box for its condition and its condition is likewise really really good so uh, I will set that behind me and let's take a look at the the game board let's see I, I have not seen this game in over 30 years probably closer to 35 years and as you can see some of the so you could see these these values of you know like earth and pass is valued at six and if I recall this plays very much like risk uh, so as you're conquering different territories you're you're gaining points and so here we go this is the you know potentially the middle board here. And the board is in very good condition as well. And then finally, we have the, the outer board here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so there are, there are six zones in this uh, Golden Dune zone, and then one castle. Then it appears that the Whisper Metal has... six zones as well and then its own castle which is down over here in this middle board here <coughs> and then finally we have um, the ancient forest has five zones and so there are or six zones and then its castle is number four right there well, actually that might be for this year i will have to take a look at the uh, rules you know in a moment but phenomenal condition i'm really really excited about that let's take a look at the rules and i might have to adjust the view a little bit here drop this down now I, I haven't adjusted the I haven't adjusted the camera for actually displaying this just yet let's see so I apologize for having to do this now let's rotate it there we go so A true unscripted and unchained view of putting together these videos. <laughs> there we go. So I hope you could see that a little bit better. All right. So we have uh, Wizard's Quest is for two to six players, ages 10 and up. Playing time is between one and a half and three hours. An introduction talks about the, uh, you know, talks about the, the history of the location. Geog the object of the game is to win. You must be the first player to regain all three of your treasures. The equipment, uh, inventory, one map board, uh, one counter portraying the peacemaker, the wizard, one counter portraying the dragon, 90 orc counters, colored black, six sets of playing pieces, one set per player. Each set is distinguished by its own color and contains one hero, one sorcerer, 40 flag counters, three rectangle treasure counters, 35 petition cards, two dice, 
one white, one colored. I see the white. I don't see the colored dye in there. Um, it might just be inside the bags. Um, let's see. So he, here are, there's the colored dye. And so you can see here that there's, uh, here's the petition cards. He really did a great job of packaging everything here. So here we have the petition cards. And let's see. I give you one extra man, but save this card for boat privilege. I give you two extra men. I allow you to make one extra attacking campaign. This is a handwritten card. Perhaps the, it's kind of strange that there might have been a blank card and the original owner decided to divine intervention, destroy one castle of your choice. Castle is uninhabitable for the remainder of the game. Treasure is relocated. Uh, I wonder why he put that in there. Um, let's see if there's any other. handwritten cards. Now I'm curious to see if perhaps it's a house rule and I don't see any other handwritten ones yet. No. No other handwritten cards. Well, that's very interesting. I'll take a look and perhaps I'll see why. Uh, how many cards did it say there would be? Uh, let's see. I'm not seeing it at the moment, so here's a dragon counter. Here's one of the original dice. These are the, the flag counters, so here's a green four. So there there should be six different colors. There's a wizard counter. These are the black arc cards. There's red, blue, yellow. There's the other. And here's uh, actually this was a purple. And this is the blue player counter cards. So it certainly looks certainly looks complete um, I guess these long ones these long cards here are they may be the uh, they may be the treasure counters so one dragon one wizard let's see So replacement parts costs, uh, summary of play. So this particular box set was uh, 1979. And like I said, I, I probably played this in the, you know, perhaps even that year or, or sometime, you know, within the next few years uh, thereafter. Uh, Avalon Hill was one, uh, Avalon Hill was one of the game companies that uh, we played quite a few different uh 
different games uh, back in the you know back in the early 1980s with my D&D group. So it was uh, you know some days we got together and we played uh, we played these board games. Other times we got together and did uh, one of the role playing games that we happened to be playing back. You know, during those days, and uh, the collection is really, you know, coming along quite well. I mean, finding these older games, uh, and and these have been a lot cheaper than getting uh, than getting role playing games back from you know back from those days. So I'm glad that there's you know still you know reasonably priced uh, Avalon Hill game Avalon Hill games back in. Uh, you know, back from that time period, and um, once again, another very successful uh, pickup from uh, eBay. I, I've been really, really satisfied with uh, everything that I get from eBay. I, I don't recall anything coming that didn't match uh, or exceed its, uh, you know, its quality, as it was described, and. Uh, you know, I certainly recommend, you know, using eBay to find, you know, some of those, some of those games that you're looking for that are a little bit harder to find, uh, especially, you know, especially you, you tend to find them a little bit cheaper, I think, than, uh, than Amazon uh, or Amazon's, uh, you know, second or third party, uh, you know, vendors. Although once in a while, some of the older D&D books uh, you do find them a little bit cheaper on Amazon as well, uh, but uh, for the most part, uh, eBay is the, my go-to place for some of these older games. So, once again, thanks for joining. Uh, I, I will see once I set this up and and learn the rules, re relearn the rules. I will um, I'll set this up and and perhaps do a uh, a little demonstration of the gameplay. Uh, there's an Avalon Hill. Uh, there's an Avalon Hill gaming community on Facebook, so I recommend that you take a look at, uh, look at them, and you'll see, uh, you know, they have a great active community over there, and uh, this video will certainly be going, you know, up on their uh, on their community board as well, and you know, once again, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. If there's anything out there that you want me to take a look at. Uh, please feel free to leave a comment uh, if you have any Kickstarters that you're, you know, running yourself or you've recently backed that you'd think that I might be interested in taking a look at. Please leave a link. I'll go take a look at it. And if it's uh, something that I uh, that I'm comfortable backing, I will certainly back it. And then when I receive it, I will put it up here on the channel. Uh, the channel has been doing, you know, well, you know, lately. So, you know, still growing and uh, I still have the time, uh, even though work has been, you know, pretty hectic lately. I still have the time to, you know, put up at least one video a week, and uh, I'm actually off this following week, so I will have more time and probably put up a few more. I was actually so expecting this to come next week that I was like, all right, well, I already know what I'm going to do next Friday, and so now this really clears me up to, you know, come up with something else to put out a video for. So I will take a look through my collection. I know someone was asking uh, recently about uh, MMOs, and I also have another uh, another feature project that I'm looking to work on uh, for the channel as well, and you'll see the first video of that uh, coming up within the next uh, day or two, uh, probably certainly by by Monday. So once again, thanks for joining. Have a great weekend uh, coming up there. Many of you might have a, uh, you know, a three or four day weekend uh, because of the holidays here in the States. So enjoy your time off. And I look forward to seeing you on the gaming screen sometime soon. You'll have a great afternoon.